let's um, get some flux on these parts that need doing which is that one that one that one and that one oh fuck it's just uh, taking off my markings I'll put a bit of pen next to each point so I've, uh, I could quite easily remember which goes where that flux has just removed it all bastard ok so let me just excuse me while I consult the diagram I got on Tinternet Okay. So we flux the um, the points. Now we got all this in. Try and get this in as much as I can. Take the uh, one of your wires. Now all you need to do here. Is heat up the uh, the pin header point. That's already got the solder in. You can push the wire through when it gets hot enough. Push the exposed end of the wire through when it gets hot enough. Nice and easy. Get some fucking heat in this. Come on. So I can't really see what I'm doing here, can you? This is where uh, you end up getting burnt fingers. <sighs> right. Look at that. See, I don't know, but that's gone straight through. And then the next one, which is just above it, and that one melted a lot quicker. You'll find some of these pin headers uh, melt so much quicker than others. So we've got the two in place now. Like so. And the last one is literally the jumper wire. And that goes between again, I've fucking rubbed off all my markings, so let's have a quick look on here again. It goes between there and there. Okay, which is I like to push if you've got, got a fair bit of wire exposed. It's what's taking me a bit longer. I like to push it all the way through. through. There we go. So there's more sticking out the front and the back. 
That's in there. That should be that. So let's see if we can get a good, good picture of this. Okay. So there's our diodes at the edge. And attached to the coiner. And then just to the side of the GPU heatsink. see that the two wires go there and then you've got that one wire bridging those points there um, on a xenon that's it it's as simple as that to do your JTAG wiring um, as I say the NAND wiring is a lot more complicated if you're going to go down the route of not getting a USB flasher <sighs> to be honest if you're not the greatest at soldering then I wouldn't bother it's going to take you hours if you're a dab hand that's soldering by all means and you've got a shitload of resistors in stock go for it try the LPT cable method but um, team executor NAND quick solder boards nice and easy to put in team executor JTAG quick soldering balls a load of guff fuck em. just get some wires get some diodes uh, and do it this way now you'll be able to tell if you've got good connection on your diode wiring by if you get a multimeter uh, set it onto ohms check the resistance you could probe the you could probe the front side of this so where we've put them in so behind there yeah is where our two diodes have been soldered to oh also before everybody starts going it's solder, it's solder, not solder. I'm from England. It's said solder over here. It's pronounced solder over here. It's pronounced solder or whatever you guys say over in America. So just to stop the numerous posts of it's pronounced solder, you dickhead. I thought I'd say that now. Uh, yeah, so our diodes are sold onto the back of that there. If you used to probe the point, uh, one point with your uh, multimeter, and then if you were to probe all the way to where it connects to there with the other point of your multimeter you will have resistance i.e. it will stay on one uh, if it was just a piece of wire your resistance would go from one down to zero because there's no resistance along it however in these two points you should have full resistance of one uh, which is basically telling you that the diodes are in place and the diodes are soldered correctly to the coin R and down to the pin headers at this point. Uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing really much else to say. This is how you keep things tidy. The heat shrink tubing, I always say, honestly, you can buy a metre of heat shrink tubing, which I did about seven years ago, and you're using such small amounts of it that it never runs out. Uh, it's so much better than insulating tape. Insulating tape loses its stickiness sometimes. It's hard to wrap around such thin wires like this. So get some heat shrink tubing, get some diodes, get some coinar, do it. Um, if you come to do the NANs, if you need to start sucking out the solder between the pin headers, and let me show you these here, yeah. You see those pin headers there? Well, those are the type of things depends how you install install your NAND I've been putting pin headers there if I show you my uh, where are they? There we go. here's my NAND pin headers you see that there it's got a pin header block there if you put pin headers in then it means you have to desolder every single point which Unless you've got a really good desoldering gun, it's it's really difficult. Uh, you find that 80-90% of the points all come out with a bit of desoldering braid uh, and maybe a, a desolder pump. I've got this desolder pump. One of these. Yeah. So, you just push down. You put this end 
against the solder. You put your soldering iron on the underside of the board, and then you push the button, and it it's allegedly meant to suck the solder out. But to be perfectly honest, this is this is weak as piss. This is it's useless. So I've been using desoldering braid. You can get this from Radio Shack or uh, Maplin as it is over in England. Um, and as you can see, that's copper braid, but you still that solder on it. You press it against each pin header, heat it up, and try and suck the solder off. This does it. It takes a few applications, to be honest, and a couple of the pin header points are ground plates, so it doesn't matter how much you heat them up with my soldering iron, the solder doesn't want to come up. It doesn't want to come up onto the braid. It doesn't want to come up, come up into the pump. For this, for these problems, you can get a, I got a one millimetre drill bit, uh, and I drilled a few of the pin headers out yesterday, only to realise that even one millimetre was still a bit too big, and it tore up two traces from the underside of the board. You don't want to be doing trace repairs. Thankfully, I managed to fix these traces, but I've learnt my lesson that a, even a one millimetre drill bit is too big. Get a 0.75mm drill bit. Uh, I've seen a few on eBay. I've seen a few that you can fit into your Dremel. Uh, so if you've got a Dremel, then brilliant. Stick it in your Dremel, and then you can drill out all your pin headers like that. Now, what I will say is, if you do go down the pin header road for your NAND, this one here... You see that row of pin headers there? There's about 12 or 13. I've been desoldering all of those, putting a pin header block in. It's been a fucking nightmare. But do you know what? With the Nandex kit, there's only two wires that come from that whole area that go into the Nand. So do you know what I did? I took the pin header block, I cut out one row of just two pins, and then just installed those two pins today. Talked up to the PC, done the nano, no problem. So that must have saved about an hour's work of faffing about with that fucking pump and braid. Anyway, I'm rabbiting. JTAG's done. Thanks for watching. Any um, proper questions, I'll answer them. Any bullshit, I'll ignore it. Cheers, guys. Peace.